Hello students, myself Vinayak, lecturer in chemistry. I welcome you all for the first year pre-university course regarding course structure and academic planning. Principal has already discussed and described in a separate video regarding the various courses available after your pre-university courses and career opportunities. Sunil sir has made a separate video. So today I am going to discuss about my subject that is chemistry about the course details and curriculum details, syllabus details of first year pre-university course and that of chemistry subject. Okay. So in your lower classes, in your 8th, 9th or in 10th standard, you studied science as a whole for 100 marks. But in your PU classes, in your PU class, you are separately studying physics, chemistry and biology for 100 marks each. Now you are studying science for 300 marks and chemistry for 100 marks. Okay, in our PU classes, in pre-university course, chemistry subject is divided into three parts. Entire chemistry is divided into three parts. So in that, it's already written here, physical chemistry, inorganic chemistry and organic chemistry. There are three parts in our chemistry. Even in second PU also, in second year pre-university course also, you are going to study all these three parts, physical chemistry, inorganic chemistry and organic chemistry. Okay, here, the total marks is for 100, okay, total marks, you are writing exam for 100 marks, in that 70 marks for theory and 30 marks for practicals. So you have to do some experiments, okay, based on that you will get marks in practicals and 70 marks of theory you are going to study, okay. In your class 8, 9th or in 10th, you studied science for 100 marks. Okay, now you are going to study chemistry for 100 marks. Understood? Yes. So now let us see the parts, different parts of chemistry that you are going to study in your pre-university course and the chapter names in that particular part. Okay, and the total number of hours allotted for those chapters and total weightage of marks is already written here once you go through it. In physical chemistry, in first part of chemistry, physical chemistry, there are five chapters. There are five chapters in physical chemistry. In that first one, some basic concepts of chemistry, okay? So, this chapter includes various concepts that you have studied in your lower classes, in your 7th, 8th or 9th or even in your 10th standard, okay? This chapter is of 9 hours, the total weightage total marks is, sorry, total number of hours for this chapter is 9 and total weightage of marks is 8. Okay, from this chapter you will get question for 8 marks. The second physical chemistry chapter is structure of atom. You might have studied this chapter also. The total number of hours allotted for this chapter is 10 and total marks weightage that is 9. You will get 9 marks question from this chapter, chapter number 2. Next, uh, another chapter, that is chapter number 5 in chemistry, that is states of matter, which belongs to physical chemistry. The total number of hours allotted for this is, the total number of hours allotted for this is 9 and weightage of marks is 8. Okay, total weightage is 8 marks. Next chapter, that is chapter number 6 in chemistry is thermodynamics. The total number of hours allotted is 11 hours and weightage of marks is 10. You will get 10 marks question from this chapter thermodynamics. Next chapter number 7 that is fifth chapter in physical chemistry that is equilibrium. So biggest chapter the total number of hours allotted for this is 13 hours and total weightage of marks is 12. So this is about the first part physical chemistry part. The second part in chemistry is inorganic chemistry chapters, okay. Here in inorganic chemistry, there are six chapters. In that chapter number three in your chemistry is inorganic chemistry chapter that is classification of elements and periodicity. So a small chapter it is, the total number of hours allotted is five and weightage is four. We will get four mark questions from this chapter. The second chapter in inorganic chemistry, that is chapter number 4 in chemistry, first PU chemistry is chemical bonding and molecular structure. The total number of hours allotted for this chapter is 12, okay. 
and weightage of marks the total number of questions will be asked for 11 marks okay total weightage of marks is 11 next chapter is redox reaction again it's a very small chapter the total number of hours allotted is 5 total number of marks or weightage of marks is equal to 4 you will get 4 mark questions from this chapter the next chapter is hydrogen again it's a small chapter total number of hours allotted 4 hours a small chapter the weightage of marks that is 3 marks you will get only 3 mark questions from this chapter hydrogen the next chapter is s block elements the number of hours allotted is 7 hours 7 hours is allotted weightage of marks 6 marks the next chapter the last chapter in inorganic chemistry is some p block elements okay in that total number of hours allotted is 8 total weightage of marks is 7 you will get 7 mark question from this chapter next the last part in chemistry is organic chemistry this is very important part in first pu chemistry so in that three chap two chapters are included two organic chemistry chapters are included so in that first chapter chapter number 12 in chemistry is organic chemistry some basic principles and techniques so here the total number of hours allotted for this chapter is 12 so big chapter 12 hours are allotted and total weightage of marks is 11 you will get 11 mark question from this chapter and the second organic chemistry chapter is hydrocarbon again the total number of hours allotted for this chapter is 12 and weightage of marks is 10 next the last one it's a general topic in environmental chemistry small chapter so it's of three hours and you will get two mark question from this here total number of hours allotted for all these chapters is equal to how much it is equal to 120 so total number of hours allotted for chemistry subject is 120 even for physics is 120 even for biology also it is 120 hours okay you are studying entire science in 360 hours okay 360 hours of topic will be you have to study in first year of pre-university course this is regarding what the different parts that you are going to study in your first year pre-university course and the chapters are given here the names of chapters are given once you go through all these names and topics of first pre-university course okay regarding examination practicals i will discuss it in another video thank you